السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Welcome to tonight's class. I, I hope you had a restful um, and productive weekend. <clears throat> um, I, have, um, I have thought about how we should uh, go ahead with um, uh, the recitation uh, because what we're trying to do is we are trying to choose, when we choose a, ch a student for the starting prayers, we're trying to um, give them the opportunity to, um, uh, to read something on the mic as well. Um, but I also want the class etiquettes to be done before we properly start listening to everything. So what I've decided to do is I'll be doing the starting prayers myself, at least for today. Um, and we'll see how it goes in the future, inshallah. And then after that, I would like to choose, um, uh, you know, a student for tonight's class. Um, so I'm going to start. Um, so every all the students are requested to pay attention and read with me. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحلو الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي The translation is Lord, expand my mind and make my task easy for me and remove every impediment from my speech that people may understand easily what I say. And this one as well. Rabbana taqabbal minna innaka anta sami'ul alim Our Lord, accept this from us for you are all hearing, all knowing. Amen. Um, okay, so now I would like to um, start with uh, one student, please, if possible, and I would like them to start with the class etiquettes, please. Yes, sure. N8312. N8312. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum Sam. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Good, alhamdulillah. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Okay, and are you sitting with um, a grown up? Yes. Okay, good. All right, um, so start. Um, if you could kindly just do this, um, read it out um, nicely so that everybody can um, understand what you're saying. And hopefully everybody will already be doing this. It's just a reminder. So you can start with before the lesson. Um, before the lesson, you should perform wudu ablution. You should cover your head, revise your lesson, sit with the adult in a quiet room, audio off, video off, and log in with the correct ID. During the lesson, you should listen attentively to the class Recite verses along, alongside online recitation. Do not raise hand unless requested. And after lesson, you should revise the lesson and complete assigned homework. Um, you should contact info at npc.org.uk. Please be reminded these classes offer additional support to learning. They are not a replacement for one-to-one -one learning at home. Okay, great, mashallah. That was really good just like the teachers would do it. Um, and I was wondering, have you had um, any um, problems with uh, the learning of the surahs? No. Everything going well? Yes. Okay. So um, is there a way to find out what the student has um, recited last time on the mic? Or maybe you can tell me yourself. Do you remember? Um, I've done all of Surah Al-Ala. 
Okay. And that was the last thing that you recited? Yes. Okay. Um, so you have recited, and you got the mic for that? Uh, in the class, you recited the whole of Surah Al-Ala, is that right? Um, I did it in the breakout room. In the break, okay, in the breakout room. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. That's also part of the class. Um, okay, and have you learned the Surah after that? Yes. Okay. She completed Surah al Ghashiya. Okay, so you... Uh, no, not complete. Okay. She didn't start... Okay. Have you started learning Surah Hashiyah? Um, yes. Okay. Um, and um, so how much did you read? Do you know? Not really. Okay. Um, so I'll just ask the teacher. Um, do you know how much she's read last time? Uh, she just done Surah Al-Ala. Oh, okay. That's fine. So Surah Hashiyah is obviously the next one. Um, I thought that she had done some of Surah Rashiya. That's fine. Um, so this is the next one that I'll be listening to. So you've, did I understand that correctly? You've started learning this? Yes. Okay. So I want to listen to that. Have you completed it or are you somewhere in between? Um, not completed it. Okay, that's fine. Um, so I'm going to put uh, the title page on and you can start uh, whenever you're ready. Okay. I billahi in the shaitan, you're ready. Bismillah, you're Rahman, you're ready. Hal atul hadisu rashia. Would you hear your ma is in rashia? Amila tum nasiba. Tusla narul hamia. Tuskam in ainun ania. Laysal hum tam in illam in dori. That's how much I know. Okay, Jazakumullah for that. That was a good effort. Um, I want to ask you, who do you practice with or do you learn this by heart on your own? I do it myself. Okay, so it's really important that you take somebody's help, um, your mum, dad or somebody that knows uh, the correct pronunciation um, because you have made quite a few mistakes and um, I think it's really important that we tackle them now before you learn the whole surah by heart because then what's going to happen is if we don't do that, you learn the whole surah, you know, you'll take make all this effort and you put so much time and energy into it, but then um, you might have learned it the, the wrong way and then, it, you know, it would take even more time to unlearn what you've learned um, incorrectly. So if that makes sense, does that make sense? Yeah. So what I would like you to do is uh, learn it with somebody and I'm just going to note down that you've read the first, how many uh, ayats uh, did you read? Up Seven. Seven, okay. So you've read um, Surah Al-Ghashia. Uh, let me write this down. And you have done one to seven. But what I want you to do now is I want you to recite after me because, uh, look, the mistakes that you've made are... For example, um, so can you just recite A'udhu Billah, the Abud? A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitani Rajeem Yeah, so this one needs to be prolonged. Nirajeem, this ya, this jeem needs to be prolonged because of this ya. Nirajeem Nirajeem yeah, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem That was excellent. And now Bismillah, can you read this too? Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Okay, good. Um, so you've prolonged the end bit. Um, that was good because I think uh, when you were reciting it off um, by heart, it was uh, too short. Uh, now I want you to read this whole line, the two verses here. Read it from the page, okay? Not by heart. Okay. Okay, good. Zakula. So uh, you have made a mistake here. Can you say this again, this bit? Hal a hal a Okay. okay, good. So you've uh, you've said hal a taqa. So what you've done is you've prolonged the alif. Uh, the alif only, like you can see, only has a fatha. This little 
um, stroke that looks like a tiny a mini alif. It's actually a fatha that they've turned, that has been turned um, vertically. So it's been turned a little bit and now it's standing upright. So it's called a vertical fatha. When that happens, you prolong it for two seconds. So this, this normal fatha, one second for this one, for the alif. And then this fatha, that's vertical fatha for the ta will be two seconds. So we will say, Hal adaka. Hal adaka. Okay, good. So you see this alif has a fatha, one second. So again, please. Hal adaka. Yeah. And the, uh, don't prolong the alif. Like I said, one second for alif with the fatha and two seconds for the ta with the vertical fatha. Hal adaka. Okay, good. Well done. And carry on, please. Okay, good. And what happens after that? Yeah. So make sure that you pronounce this uh, properly. Say, like this, not yo. Would you hui yo? Good. And what? yeah, that was good. And this letter, you're pr pronouncing it like a rain. This, you're pronouncing it like this letter. Oh, sorry. You're pronouncing it. Let me try and just just do it to the, yeah, that one. So you're pronouncing it like a rain. I know it looks similar, but it's actually a kha. It's not the same letter. This is a rain. Um, and this is a kha. So you will be saying, Would you hui yo ma idin kha shia? Would you hui yo ma idin kha shia? Okay, well done. Um, so see, when you're learning with somebody, then there's somebody there that can correct you, that can help you um, if you're making a mistake. And it's also, I think, a little bit more fun. You won't be feeling as lonely. Um, you'll have company. Um, so if you do, you know, if you do your practice with your parents or somebody that knows uh, the correct pronunciation, then it will be much better. And you're doing already so much better. So inshallah, your tilawat can be really good. Um, so should we carry on? Um, can you read this bit? That was good. And this one? Good. Well done. And this next one? Yeah, so this da uh, will not be pronounced in a thick way because it's not a ta. Uh, it's not the letter ta. Um, let me see if I can find one. I don't know if there, um, maybe there is one, but I just, can you see one? So I can't, I can't, I don't know, maybe I'm just not <laughs> able to see one right now, but this is not the letter ta, it's the letter ta. Um, ta is round mouth and ta is open mouth, okay? So you won't say toska, you'll say tuska, okay? Tus and then thick letter. Tuska. Tuska. Okay, good. Was... Yes, please. Tuska min einin aniya. Okay, good. This is an alif. It will not be pronounced like an ain. Some people sometimes pronounce it like an ain. This is an ain and this is an alif. Okay. Ania. Ania. Excellent. And this one? Laysa lahum ta'amun illa min dari. Okay, good. Um, so you have pronounced this dod very beautifully, first of all, I want to say that. That was very nice, mashallah. But you have made a few mistakes. So um, uh, can you say this again up to here, please? <laughs> okay, good. So there are two mistakes right here. Uh, this one you have prolonged, لَيْسَلَاهُمْ, I think you said. But like I said before, with the alif, there's only a fata, and that means you only prolong it for one second. So how do you how do you pronounce it up to here? Laysa lahum. Yeah, but one second, remember. Laysa lahum. 
Laysa lahum. Okay. Then the next uh, mistake was this meme. You said da'a min, I think you said. But this is a tanween, which means a double stroke. You can see there are two strokes. Um, and what, what happens is it, this is actually a tanween of dhamma. So dhamma, you can see here, this is a dhamma, this stroke here. And there is a double stroke of dhamma, which means we will be making um, like a noon sound. But um, if there was a double stroke underneath the mean, then we would be saying ta'a min, like you said. But this is double stroke on top with a dhamma. So we will be saying it in a round mouth way. Ta'a mun. Ta'a mun. Okay, good. Uh, so read the whole thing again, this one, and read it with the thing that I've just told you up to here, this verse. Okay. Laysa lahum ta'am. No, don't prolong this. Laysa lahum. Laysa lahum ta'amun illa min dari. Excellent. This illa will be prolonged as well because there is a lift. Uh, as well so when you see that there is a fatha on top of a letter and an alif right with it then you prolong it for two seconds okay mm -hmm. and uh, we should be able to hear the ayin in the end Okay, that was better. And I think you read um, so that's um, I think you read this next verse as well. So we're going to go through that as well. Can you read it? La yusminu wa la yughni min ju. Okay, good. Um, achha, um, no, just a minute, just a minute, please. Uh, so that was just my son. Uh, could you read this again, please? La yusminu wa la yughni min ju. Okay, so you, I think you've prolonged this noon. Uh, this will not be prolonged because it only has a dhamma. Uh, so one second, okay? This one will be prolonged because it has a alif and a fatha, the lam. La yusminu. And then this lam will be prolonged again. Wa la yughni. This noon will also be prolonged, the reason being when you see that a letter has a kasra and it comes with a ya attached to it, then you prolong it for two seconds. So, la yusminu wa la yughni milju. Can you read it? La yusminu wa la yughni milju. This will be prolonged because this is the third thing. When you see a dhamma, this, this stroke, this round stroke, and um, it comes attached, the letter with that, that comes attached with the wow, like this, with the sukun, then you prolong that as well. So there's one prolonged with alif, one prolonged with ya, and one prolonged with wow. Um, two seconds as well. So try again. La yu yusminu wa la yugni min ju. Okay, that was a better effort, but you still made two mistakes. This nu will not be prolonged. La yusminu, and this noon will be prolonged. So it's the other way around of what you did. Wa la yugni, not prolonged, prolonged. Okay? Okay. Hey. Have I confused you or has it become a little bit clearer? Um, a little bit clearer. If anything's confusing, you can ask me now, and it's fine. I can explain it again. No. Okay. So I'm going to write down that you've um, recited this. Um, and uh, what I would like you to do is to sit down with somebody that knows um, how to correctly recite it and learn it by heart. No, learn it first, reading it correctly, and then learn it by heart. Um, and like I always say, it helps to listen to, um, keep listening to a recitation online. Um, they're really beautiful ones. You can find different kinds that you like, and then you'll be able to um, do it properly, okay? Inshallah. Okay. All right. Jazakumullah for that. Um, can I have a next student while I'm just quickly making a note? Of yes, sure. Um, just a minute. Let me close the door. <laughs>
Okay. Um, so. <clears throat> Just a minute. Um, A7304. A7304. Aslam Niko. He is unmuted. Acha. Aslam Niko. A7304. If you can hear me, please reply. Okay. Okay. I'll so, give you another. Yep. Yeah. A7306. A seven three zero six. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah. Uh, in a few minutes, uh, Frasat will be available. Okay. Um. He's he's not here right now. Uh, no, he's uh, unable to attend uh, this time. Uh, in few minutes, uh, he will come. Okay, so we should um, always try to be on time because uh, we are 21 minutes into the class. So he should be here before the class starts. Yes, yes, he is now, he, he was in class, but uh, now emergency, he is in. Okay. Okay. I see. Will come. I see, I see. Sorry. That's fine. That's fine. So if okay. we could, um, so when he's back, can you ask him to raise his hand uh, on okay. the computer? Okay. Okay. He is coming in two minutes. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Thank you. So just, just only A seven three zero six, please raise his hand. Nobody else. Okay. Okay. Exactly. Okay. In the meantime, is there anybody else that we could? Yes. Yeah, sure. N eight three zero five. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. Are you a little bit far away from your mic? Sounds like it. No. Okay. That's fine. Um, surah Duha. Okay. And um, so you're going to be reciting Surah, uh, surah Duha. Ad Duha. Okay. Um, have you learned it? Um, yes. Okay, good. So when you're ready, um, you can start. Okay. A'uzu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Wazzuha wal layli iza saja ma wadaka rabbuka wa ma qala وَلَلْآخِرَةُ خَيْرٌ لَكَ مِنَ الْأُولَى وَلَسَوْفَ يُؤْتِيكَ رَبُّكَ فَتَرْضَى أَلَمْ يَجِدْكَ يَتِيمًا فَآوَى وَوَجَدْكَ زَالًا فَأَغْنَى فَهَدَى فَهَدَى وَوَجَدَكَ آئِلًا فَأَغْنَى فَأَمَّا الْيَتِيمَ فَلَا تَقْهَرْ وَأَمَّا السَّائِلَ فَلَا تَنْهَرْ وَأَمَّا بِنِعْمَةِ رَبِّكَ فَحَدِّسْ Mashallah, well done. You've, uh, I'm really proud of you. That was really good, mashallah. Who did you practice with? My mom. Okay, I think you did really well. Um, so well done to both of you. Um, you um, uh, do you know the Kalkala rule? Yes. Uh, so just in the end, uh, you, I think you forgot to do Kalkala. Where was it? Um, where was it? Just a minute. Oh, there it is. Um, so this one, this is a qaf with a sukoon. So it's a kalkala letter. Bismillah ar-Rahim. Fa'amma al-yadima fala taqhar. Okay. Okay. Can you say it? Fa'amma al-yadima fala taqhar. Taqhar, like a jumping sound. Taqhar. 
that was good well done um and what else i think apart from the i think there was one minor mistake but um I think that's good. That was really good, mashallah. Um, so that, how long did it take you to learn this by heart? About two days. Mashallah, well done. And did you listen to it online or did you just? Yes, and, and my mom really helped me. That's really good. I'm, you're really um, blessed to have a, um, somebody that is supporting you like that. Um, so uh, I'm just going to note down, you have recited the whole surah, but you are... Um, I think in one or two places you weren't too sure what was the next bit. So make sure that it sits, you know, um, perfectly um, so you don't forget. And other than that, um, that was good, mashallah. Have you learned the next one as well? Yeah. You have? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just a minute then. Let me write this down first. Okay. Uh, so Surah Tul Inshira. Let me write this down. And you've learned all of it? Yes. Okay, well done, mashallah. Okay, um, so you can start when you're ready. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alam nashrah laka sadara. وَوَضَعْنَا عَنْكَ وِزْرَكَ الَّذِي عَنْكَ زَزَحْرَكَ وَرَفَعْنَا لَكَ ذِكْرَكَ فَإِنْ yes, إِنَّ مَعَ الْأُسْرِ يُسْرَى إِنَّ مَعَ الْأُسْرِ يُسْرَى فَإِذَا فَرَغْتَ فَاسَبْ Okay, good, Masala. That was really good too. Um, I before I forget, um, there were a couple of minor mistakes. Uh, I think there was one place where you did calcula on a kaf, not on a qaf. Um, I think it was here. I think you said zikrak, but it's not. This is not a jumping area. This is not a calcula letter. It's kaf, not qaf. This is a calcula letter when it comes with the sukun. So this is only Zikrak. And the other place was, um, I think you Tilavit can get uh, even better, inshallah, if you concentrate a little bit more on pronouncing the letters uh, in, a, in a more um, thick or thin way, the way that Arabic is supposed to be. Um, and I think then it will get even better, inshallah. So for example, this is Qa, uh, you know, Qa. This is qaf, this is dod, um, you know, like this, if you just try, this is a ra, um, you know, it will take practice, but I think it will sound even nicer if it sounds uh, more Arabic as well. Okay. Um, and this ba in the end, it has a sukun on top, so this is a kalpula letter as well. Um, as you know, qaf, ta, ba, zin, dal. So this will, this will also be... Um, read with Kalkala, so I think you didn't do that. But other than that, mashallah, that was really good. Have you learned anything after that? No, I think I, you're, you're only supposed to do up to here. No, that's fine. I have learned um, um, the full surah of Surah al -Lail. Okay. Uh, I think that's not the one that is in your syllabus for now. Okay. For now, uh, the surahs are surah, obviously, surah Fatiha. Uh, Surah Al-Ala, Al-Ghashiyah, Al-Shams, Al-Duha, Al-Inshira. So these are the ones. So I'm going to write this down that you've, mashallah, memorized this really well. And yeah, not really many mistakes either. Okay, that was really good, mashallah. Well done. Uh, so uh, I'm going to mute you now. Um, and Jazakumullah. Um, I would like to put uh, some of the students into the breakout room. It, I should have done that before, but I was um, sort of explaining things and stuff. Um, I, I, can I request everybody to always try to be on time for the class because, um, so this is why, um, before the class, me and the 
other teachers come online before you can get to the class. And we um, start working on the um, on the class. Like we open our pages and everything else gets ready. Uh, we set things up, and also I um, create a breakout room. Um, and the only way I can add people is if they are present. So I wait and wait and wait. And um, there was unfortunately only one student that was present. It was N8305, so well done for that. Um, so I have added her and the teacher into the breakout room, but there was nobody else um, available from, from our list that was supposed to be there. So I'm going to have to do that now, which is gonna take time from the class. Um, so I'm just going to go through um, some of the names and see if I can quickly add them and so that they have a few minutes um, for, uh, in the breakout room. Just, just bear with me, please. And N8310, quickly change your ID, otherwise we're going to have to put you, instead of the breakout room, you'll be going to the waiting room. So quickly put that smiley face away, and um, then you can go to the breakout room. <clears throat> and A7305 is not here. 306, okay. Uh, so I'm sending A7306 to the um to the breakout room and you can change your um id again to your normal id um and well okay so i've selected a few students with the teacher i'm sending the invitation so please accept it and then um the teacher will listen to your um recitation um okay in the meeting i have another student please Are there any students that we could choose? Uh, yes, sure. A7309. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum. A7309, assalamu alaikum. Is he unmuted or? No. Can you try? Yes, I'll try. Just a minute. A7309. Okay, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Uh, okay, there you are. Um, can you hear us okay? Uh, yeah. Okay, good. Um, so do we, uh, do we know what the student has recited last uh, time? Yes, Surah Shams. Okay, he's done it last time? Uh, no, no, today. Oh, he will do it. Okay. Have you learned Surah Shams? Uh, I know two ayats. Two ayats. Okay, so I'll listen to those two ayats and then... Um, and then we'll talk about, so you've learned up to here, is that right? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Um, so you start when, when you're ready, okay? No, 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 no. <laughs> Slow down. First of all, the, um, what do you say before you start reciting? A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Washamsi wa duhaha Okay, good. Now, can you do it once more, a little bit slower? A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani r-rajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Wal-shamsi wa duhaha Wal-qamari zatallaha Okay, jazakallah. So, what I would like to say is... Um, So I can I remember that you said uh talaha, but talaha it would be if there was a, a, a tashdeed sign, a shadda sign like this one on top of the lam, but there isn't. So we will say it 
um, not in a forceful way, we'll say it calmly. Ida talaha. Can you say it? Ida talaha. Yeah, but but try not saying talaha. Ida talaha. Ida talaha. Okay, that was much better. And um, this one is a dod. And this ha has a vertical fatha, so this will be prolonged for two seconds. Wash Bismillah. Washamsi waduha. Washamsi waduha. Okay, good. This mean won't be prolonged, okay? Washamsi waduha. Washamsi waduha. Okay, good. And um, yeah, that was good. Other than that, um, so try and learn, uh, carry on learning. That um, you know, you've made these minor mistakes. But, um, One more try, to, try to correct these mistakes and then uh, and then carry on learning. Okay, so um, I'll write down that you've done two ayat. Mm, just a second. Okay, that's fine. Jazakumullah for that. Do we have another student? Yes. N8303. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum assalam. How are you? I'm good. Okay. Uh, uh, what, what is Surah she... Al-Ala up to verse number 11. Have you learned Surah Al-Ala? Um, yeah. No, sorry. Uh, is the teacher saying she's read up to verse 11? Yes. Oh, I see. Have you learned any more than that? Um, not yet. Well, actually, I think I've learned um, something. Let's have a look. So, um, <clears throat> so do you remember? You've learned uh, 11 verses, so up to here. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Have you done anything after that? Actually, no, I don't think I have. You don't think I have. Okay, so you just continue learning that. Um, and just to see um, how your pronunciation is, I'm just going to ask you to read off the page. Can you do that for me? Okay. So I would like you to start with um, Bismillah and then carry on from here, please. Okay. Uh Billah Himin Shaytani Rajim. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm gonna interrupt. Can you do this again, please? Uh Uzu Billah Himin Shaytani Rajim. Okay, good. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, so start from here, please. Illa Allah. Okay, good. Uh, did you pronounce this like an ain? This Hamza. Ah. Uh. Did you pronounce it like a iron sound? Because I, I know it looks a bit a bit bigger than a normal Hamza, but it's actually supposed to be a Hamza. This is uh, an ayn. This is an ayn, and this is a Hamza. And Hamza makes an alif sound. Illa ma Allah. Okay. Good. And carry on. Good. And can you please read um, this one? Fazakayinafatizika. 
Okay, so can you tell me, it looks a bit, it looks a bit different than a normal letter would, but do you know what this letter is next to the garf? What do you no, know? I okay. don't know. No, no, it looks a bit funny. It's supposed to be a ra. There's different ways of writing a, a, oh. ra, a ra, and this is how um, it's written in here. So this is a ra. So it is, you read it like this. Fadakir inna fa'ati dhikra. Okay, good. Um, so work on these. Um, like I always say, listen, listen, listen to um, a nice recitation online. You can find lots on uh, Al Islam and on YouTube, even, you know. Um, so choose one that you like, this, you know, a melody that you like. And keep listening to it. And while you're listening, with your finger, go over all the words that they're reciting and try and recite it as well. Um, even as you're falling, you know, even as you're going to sleep, you could just listen to it. Um, so, that, so that way you will um, learn it much better and you'll know how to pronounce it the correct way. And you won't have to guess, okay? Okay. All right. Um, so could we have another student, please? Yes. A seven three one zero. A seven three one zero. Assalamu alaikum. A seven three one zero. Assalamu alaikum. Can you try unmute him? Oh, I see. Yep. A seven three one zero. Oh, it's not working for me either. Um, sometimes that happens. Yeah. Okay. I will give you another ID. Yeah, that's fine. N eight three one three. N eight three one three. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum salam. How are you? I'm good. Okay. So, uh, what will the student be reciting? Surah Al Ala. Okay. Have you learned it? Have you learned Surah Al Ala? Can you hear me? No. You have what well, you can't you can't hear me or you haven't recited it? I mean learned it. I haven't recited it and I've not learned it. Um so you haven't recited it but also you're saying you haven't learned it, I see. Um so what's um what about what what's the last thing you recited? Surah Fatiha. Surah Fatiha was the last thing you recited? Yeah. Did you try and learn any more after that? She is gone. Uh, I will give you another. Okay. N eight three one eight. Um. Sorry, just a minute before before you unmute him. I would just like to speak to the student for a, a moment. Okay, sure. Okay, I'm not able to unmute her. Um, so N8313, we didn't mute you. I don't know what's going on with the system. I was really hoping to talk to you what the issue was. Um, so you don't need to feel shy. You don't need to feel scared uh, or embarrassed. Um, you know, we're here to help you. Um, and you don't need to feel that we're going to, like, be judgmental, um, you know. Um, if I just could get you unmuted. I'm unable to unmute you, unfortunately, but um, if you could just let us know, um, maybe write an email and let us know what, what the problem is, like what was, the, what was the reason that you weren't able to learn anything after Surah Fatiha? Um, because after Surah Fatiha, this is obviously the next Surah that was supposed to be learned, Surah, uh, surah Tulala. Um, so what was the reason you weren't able to learn it? Was it because you don't have uh, somebody that knows the correct pronunciation to help you or is it because um you know it's just too difficult you know what i would like to find out what's what's the reason so we can help you so if you could just email us and then um let us know if there's something we can do to help you then you know inshallah the in charge will um let us know okay so i hope that you you've heard what i said i'm unable to unmute you for some reason the button's not working um, so can we carry on with uh, another student, please? 
Yes. Uh, can you try to unmute her N eight three one eight? Three one eight. Yeah, I'll try. It's not working. <laughs> not working. Okay. No. Can I try another ID? Sure. Yeah. Yes, it's for now. N8320. Yeah, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, N8320. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so what has, or oh, what will she be reciting for us? Uh, she recited Surah Al-Ala up to verse number 10. Okay. Have you learned any more than uh, um, any more after that? Yeah, I, yeah, I think. I think. Okay. Do you want me to listen to it, to what you've uh, learned so far? Yes. So this is what you've done so far, and we'll find out uh, in a in a in a moment if you've learned any any more after that. So I'm going to listen to um, to the whole uh, to the whole surah again. So you can start from Awwazu Billah and then Bismillah. Okay. Um, where do I start from? Um, just from the beginning, where the uh, surah starts. Okay. Billahi minash Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Subhana rabbi al-a'la. Subhana rabbi al-a'la. Please carry on. Alazi halaka fasawa, Wallazi kutter fahada, Wallazi a rajal mara, Faja alahu sa an awa, Sanukar yunka fala tansa, Illa masha Allah, Inna hu yakla mulcha rawa maya fa. Nubanu yasiru ka lil yusra Fazakir inna faatil zikra Sayadakkaru man yaksha wa ma yaqfa Faja'alahu Faja'alahu Fayata jannahu Fayata jannahu Fayata jannahu Fayata ashka Fala Allah Alladhi Alladhi yasla nara al qubara I think I only know up to there. Okay, so you've learned one more. Um, you have, uh, so first of all, I want to know, who do you practice with? On your own or with somebody? With somebody. With your mum? Yeah. Okay, because, is she here as well? Yeah. Okay, you have made a few, uh, you have made quite a few um, mistakes. Um, so you can, um, well, you maybe not quite a few, but you have made. Can you enlarge your screen? Yes, yes. Um, so you've made a few mistakes. Um, you have, for example, pronounced um, the letter. Um, which one was it? I think the letter ha. I'm not sure which one it was because it was a little bit fast. Uh, but the letter ha, you have pronounced like the letter alif, I think, or hamza. Um, so I want you to read it uh, again, but can you read it off the page this time so I can tell you for every um, verse what's the issue, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, please start from Bismillah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Excellent. That's very good. Next one. And then try, can you do this again? I didn't hear it properly. Yeah, can you try saying kha, khalaqa? Khalaqa. Yes. Alladhi khalaqa fasawa. Alladhi khalaqa fasawa. Very good. Next one. Alladhi qaddara fahada. Very good. Next one. Okay, yeah, that was the one. Sorry. So this, um, so first of all, this dal. Can you see it? Yeah. 
So with this dal, there is a connection to this ya, and the ya has a sign on top which is called um, a mad sagira, and it is a four to six, uh, sorry, two to four um, second long prolongation. So this dal, this letter, will be prolonged for two to four seconds because of this ya with this sign. So you will be saying it for longer than one second. Walladhi. Okay, can you say this? Walladhi. That was better. And now, um, yeah, and carry on reading after that. Okay, so this is a kha. Remember I told you um, here as well. This is the letter kha. Uh, I think you're making it sound like the letter, like a Hamza. You're saying a rajal. This is Hamza. This is Kha. Uh, so you say ah rajal mara. Ah rajal mara. Good. Next one. Okay. And again, this is a ha that you're pronouncing like a Hamza. Uh, so you don't say awa, you say ah, you're supposed to say ahwa. <clears throat> and also, sorry, that's one thing. And also, this is the letter tha, and it's connected to this um, uh, madgabira, which is a four to six second uh, prolongation, okay? So extra, extra long. So these are the two things you have to... Um, uh, correct. فَجَعَلَهُ غُثَاءً أَحْوَى فَجَعَلَهُ غُثَاءً أَحْوَى أَحْوَى Yeah, good that you remembered. But this was still too short. Try again, please. غُثَاءً أَحْوَى no, try, try counting with your fingers as you're reading. That's what I do with my son. Um, he's um, probably, I don't know how old you are, but he's probably around your age. Um, but um, he, I also, you know, tell him to just count with his fingers. As he's uh, reading uh, extra, extra long elongation, just count with your fingers. And when you come up to five or something, then you can stop, okay? So try this again. <sighs> Okay, good. That was better. And can can you read the next one? Next one. Okay, so this lamb is connected to this alif. Um, and when there is a alif, and before that the letter has a fatha, like this one, the, the lam has a fatha, but it's also connected to this alif. So because of that, we will be prolonging the, uh, the lam for two seconds. Illa. And then this one is again, the same sign up here is also here. So we will also be prolonging this from four to six seconds. So do your counting again and read it again from here. Very good, mashallah. That was really beautiful. And the next one, please. What's this? Okay, so here you have again pronounced it like a Hamza and like a Hamza. But these are actually two different letters. They have nothing to do with Hamza. Um, Hamza sounds like Alif. But this is a jim. It makes a j sound like the letter J in English. This is the letter, this is the letter Kha. It comes from your throat, okay? So it is Innahu. And this one is, can you see this little sign that looks like a six on top of the Ha? Yeah, so this this sign that looks like a six is called an inverted dhamma. It's a dhamma. Normally, a dhamma looks like, like a tilted nine, like here. Uh, but when, when it's turned around and it's upside down, it looks like a six. Then it's called an inverted dhamma. And what happens then is you prolong it for two seconds. Innahu ya'lamul jahra wa ma... 
يخفى إن إنه يعلم two seconds for this إنه يعلم الجهر ما يخفى yeah, good. I just realized that I've corrected the wrong bit. I corrected the deem when I actually meant to correct this ha. Uh, so you were saying jahra, but it's jahra, okay? So this is the ha that I was going to um, correct. Um, al innahu ya'lamul jahra wa ma yakhfa. Innahu ya'lamul <laughs> yes okay good um, I know you got a little help there but yeah so I think you're doing much better mashallah so if you just put a little bit more time with your mom um, into learning it the correct way it will really pay off inshallah so um, jazakumullah for that uh, so your idea is uh, M8320 is that right Okay, um, Okay. so I'm just going to write down that we did some practice for this surah, okay? Okay, so Jazakumullah to you. Um, I hope that the, uh, we'll be muting you now. I hope that the breakout room people are back. And I think they, let me just check. Um, I'm not sure if they should be back, but... Um, maybe I'm just not able to see them, but, um, I just wanted to say, I'm sorry if you haven't been able to, um, get, uh, get the mic today. I know people are raising their hands. Only raise your hand if it, uh, if it's a burning issue that needs to be resolved right now. Other than that, if it's not, then uh, don't raise your hand and you can always reach us. You can reach the whole team on the same email address, um, that we always tell you at the beginning. Um, so if there's something that you're worried about or something you want to ask or let us know about, then this is the, well, you can't really see because it's the same. You can't see the highlighting. It's the same color. But this is the address that you can write to us. And I did take quite a lot of time with a couple students today because I thought it's um, important to do it correctly from the beginning. Um, and sorry if you didn't get the chance. And we have actually reached the end of the, the class for today. And I'm so sorry. Um, but hopefully, um, whoever hasn't got the chance and wanted to, hopefully they'll be able to have a chance tomorrow. We actually um, don't randomly um, choose you guys. There's actually a deeper system that we um, go according to. And, um, you know, we, we keep an eye on who's there and who has recited what and everything else. So it's all like, we don't just randomly, like we, we're not trying to be unfair on anyone. Um, so we are going according to a system. So hopefully whoever didn't get a chance today and wanted to, maybe you'll get your chance tomorrow. In the meantime, carry on practicing. And um, just to let you know that for the next exam, so you've had, your, you've had one exam already. A second exam will, um, inshallah, be soon, sometime soon. For now, we're not telling you when exactly. Um, and also, let me just have a look quickly to tell you the right thing that I was going to say. Um, so first of all, one thing, uh, when you learn a new surah, um, you, uh, the teacher tells you uh, some information about that surah. So make sure that you listen attentively when a new surah is being taught because then after that, during that lesson, the teacher might just call on you and just ask you um, if uh, any question about the facts that, that she delivered. Um, about the exam, the exam will be sometime soon. So just be prepared. Um, it might be next week. It's quite uh, likely it might be next week. Um, so please prepare. And the things that will be um, listened to are Surah Al-Fatiha and Surah Al-Ala. Okay. Surah al ghashiyah Surah Al-Shams and Surah Al-Duha. So that doesn't mean that you don't read, uh, that you don't practice the other, uh, the other ones. Practice those as well. 
And uh, homework is to um, memorize Surah Shams with correct pronunciation and revise all the other one. Um, so I hope everything's clear and I haven't confused anyone. Uh, so could we have um, a, a student to recite the ending prayer, please? Yes, sure. A seven three zero one. Yeah, just a second. Assalamualaikum. Uh, can you try to unmute oh, him? Okay, yeah. Um, A seven three zero one. Oh, it's not working again. Okay, so okay. that's fine. Um, I will try uh, another ID. A seven three zero four. Yes. Okay. He is unmuted. Assalamualaikum. A seven three zero four. No. No reply. No reply. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. So what I'm going to do is because we are actually um after eight o'clock now, I'm just going to read this myself as well, and I've actually chosen a different one this time. Um. So um, just uh, to see that there's different uh, duas that we can recite. Um, so if you're seeing this correct, uh, if you can see this, then please, everybody, all the students read after me. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. And the translation is, our Lord, accept this from us. Thou art all hearing, all knowing. Jazak Mullah for coming to tonight's class. All the best with your learning and uh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.